Good morning. It is a pleasure to, uh, with my partner, Professor Herwitz, to give an overview of the Hong Kong Center Construction Robotics. Uh, construction is a very traditional industry, you know, more than 1,000 years old. And uh, probably you don't see much change over you know, 200 years or so. And uh, until very recently, we do see some machines, uh, cranes being introduced. But uh, you know, with advance in robotics, in AI, we do believe now it's opportunity to introduce a major change to this uh, traditional industry. So we would like to highlight some of the challenges the industry face in Hong Kong, China, US, and uh, elsewhere. So, um, of course, uh, this is a very significant portion of our economy. 4.3% of the GDP in China is 25%. And uh, we employ uh, more than 600,000 workers, and there is a shortage of workers. China size 100 times uh, that in Hong Kong. And of course, uh, everybody complains that the rising housing cost. That is due to the labor and the material sector. And the, of course, the uh, government is very ambitious to introduce uh, a lot more units in the next five years. And the, of course, uh, the carbon and the, also the construction safety is a major issue. And uh, these uh, three slides uh, show some of the major problems uh, with the industry. Okay. And uh, of course, uh, we do see that uh, over the last uh, 10 years, the automotive industry has gone tremendous change in terms of uh, renewable energy, autonomous uh, driving. So we do see hope for the construction industry. And over the last uh, uh, 10 years or so, we do you know, did uh, you know, see the introduction of drones and the robots uh, in agriculture, in warehouse uh, automation. So we like to do the same for the construction industry. And of course, uh, this requires you know, putting together efforts from university, from government, from industry, from society as well. And uh, those are the four areas that uh, we you know, decided to focus on survey inspection, construction planning and the design, flexible prefabrication, and the on-site uh, automation. And uh, over you know, the period, we have uh, developed uh, more than 20 research uh, prototypes and also prototypes uh, at under testing in actual construction site. Some are ready for you know, commercialization in the next couple of, you know, months. So those are examples of some of our uh, prototypes or pseudo products being deployed in real uh, uh, sites, in factory and also in, you know, construction site. And of course, uh, some of our technology are also being uh, faster uh, deployed during the COVID period. And of course, uh, and we're happy to see, you know, this uh, from Hong Kong to international, international, back to Hong Kong. Yes. So thank you, Shashan. Uh, so I just want to mention very quickly that there are tremendous opportunities also for construction robotics in the United States. And at Berkeley, we are helping our Hong Kong partners developing uh, flexible fabrication, uh, smart sensors, and, in, and uh, learning systems for constructions, for on-site constructions. Yes, and uh, uh, as you can see from these pictures, uh, you know, we pull together our young people from Silicon Valley to the Greater Bay Area, and uh, you know, we work on factories and in various uh, construction sites, Hong Kong and the mainland and elsewhere. That's right, and I think there are, there's tremendous uh, opportunities for cross-collaboration, both in research and development in construction. Yeah, so this is a long list of, uh, you know, prototypes, uh, pseudo products that we've been developed. And uh, we are very hopeful to see this industry will be, you know, up to change. Thank you. Thank you very much.